As awareness of sustainable mobility grows, we expect to see exponential growth in demand for electric vehicles or EVs. The global market for EVs is projected to reach 1.4 trillion US dollars by 2027, which translates into a six-year compound annual growth rate of 23% according to Mordor Intelligence. On top of greater consumer focus on sustainability, supportive government policies to promote the adoption of EVs is fueling long-term structural growth for EVs. In the US, the Biden administration has year-marked 135 billion US dollars in total investments and subsidies towards EV development with the recent bipartisan infrastructure law signing in the first round of funding for a nationwide EV charging network. Separately, the US Inflation Reduction Act and Chips and Science Act have also included provisions aimed at fostering the development of the EV industry domestically, such as consumer tax credits for EVs, investments for semiconductor research, and more. China has also put in place supportive policies like extension of tax breaks for new energy vehicles or NEV purchases until end 2023. This is expected to support its domestic NEV market growth. Furthermore, with the reopening of global economies, the supply chain disruption from the auto chip shortage during the COVID pandemic period is easing, though it is still not back to full normalization yet. Nevertheless, this should provide some relief to vehicle manufacturers. With the sell down of automobile and EV stocks over the past year due to the general risk off sentiment amid rising interest rates, Russia Ukraine tensions, and recessionary fears, EV stocks are trading at attractive valuations. DBS Group Research believes EV's longer term structural trend remains healthy, with additional tailwinds from recent government policies passed by the US and China. To participate in the growth of EVs, we recommend investing along the spectrum of the supply chain, from EV suppliers to EV makers.